Hello students, come on, we'll start the problems now on unit number one, investment management. So previous sessions we have completed the theoretical part of unit number one regarding the uh, investment basic introduction to the term investment. Now we are going to start the problem. I already told you before uh, learning about the problems, you must have a printout of the problems. I have given the problems in your link in the description below. You must get a printout and keep it ready while solving the problem. Now I am reading out the problem. First problem you see, calculate the expected return for the following data for the data given below. Returns are given 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and the probability is given. Remember, whenever probability is given, it means the future return. Future return and future return is called ex ante return. There are two types of return ex post return, ex ante return. Ex post ka matlab past return, jo pahle ke years ka return hai, wo ex post hai. Aur aane wale saal ka jo return rahenga, wo ex ante return hai. To ex ante return ko identify kaisa karenge, jahan par probability de diya samaj jana wo ex ante. Ex ante. So here probability is given, returns are given and we are required to calculate the expected return. Now we are going to solve the first problem. Calculation of expected return. Calculation of expected return. Now I am making a column. First column is return, second column is probability, third column is expected return. The returns are given as 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Ah, probabilities are given 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.20 and 0.10. Remember the total of probability must always be equal to 1. The total of the probability always be equal to 1. Check 10 plus 20, 30, 40, 40 plus 30, 70, 80, 90, 100. Means the total of probability always equals to 1. Now, simply we have to multiply. Return with probability will get expected return. This is R, this is P. If you multiply return with probability, we will get expected return. So 20 into 0.1 is 2. Similarly, 30 into 0.2 is 6. 40 into 0.1 is 4. 50 into 0.3 is 1.5. No, 15. Similarly, 60 into 0.2 is 12. Then 70 into 0.1 is 7. 2, 6. Check 2, 6, 4, 15, 12, 7. The total is 46. If you find the total of all this, you will get 46. So therefore, expected return. Expected return is 46 percent. That's it. This is the first problem on calculating the return. Which return? X ante return, future return. It is called expected return. Multiply the return with the probability and take the total. That's it. Now, second problem. From the following data, calculate expected return and standard deviation. Now this problem is another one extra. Return as well as standard deviation. Standard deviation is a measure of risk. Standard deviation is a measure of risk. So both we have to calculate. This is problem number two. Calculation of return and standard deviation. See, first is given possible outcome. 
possible outcome is nothing but the event chance the event 1 2 3 then returns are given r probability is given p now we can calculate expected return it is called er then we calculate d d is equal to r minus er then we calculate d square then we calculate p d square 1 2 3 Now returns are given 5, 9, 13 and the probabilities are given 0 0.25, 0 0.50 and 0.25. See carefully this is the first problem where we are calculating the return as well as risk. So in the problem 3 events are given, outcomes are given 1, 2, 3. We are not concerned with the events, simply write down. Returns are given 5, 9, 13. Probability is given 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.2. Whenever probability is given, multiply the probability with return to get expected return. So 5 into 0 0.25, you will get 1.25. 5 into 0 0.25, you will get 1.25. 9 into 0.5, you will get 4.5. 13 into 0.25, you will get 3.25. 13 into 0.25, you will get 3.25. Now take the total. Expected return here total marum ER is equal to 1.25 plus 4.5 plus 3 point. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The total comes to 9. Expected return again 9. ER. Now here D. D stands for deviation. D stands for deviation. So R minus ER. R here we are having. R values here. Or ER ka value 9. So R minus 9. R minus 9. So 5 minus 9 minus 4. 9 minus 9, 0. 13 minus 9, 4. 13 minus 9, 4. Now square. 4, 4 is a 16, 0, 16. Now multiply PD square. 0. 0.25 into 16 is 2. 4, sorry. 16 into 0.25 So half is 8, 8 ka half 4 0 into 0 0.5 0 16 into 0.25 is 4 So 4 plus 4 is 8 That's it Again I repeat This is the first problem on calculating the risk Return Return maanum karne ke liye Probability return de diya Probability de diya Dono ko multiply karenge R into P you will get ER Expected return Expected return are 9 now deviations, R minus ER, so R minus ER, ER is 9, 5 minus 9, minus 4, 9 minus 9, 0, 13 minus 9, 4, square kar diya, 4, 4 is a 16, 0, 4, 4 is a 16. Now PD square, yana P means probability and here D square, so here P or here D square, dono ko multiply karo, 0 0.25 into 16, 4, 0 0.5 into 0, 0. 0.25 into 16, 4. 4 plus 4, 8. Now we we'll calculate, now we we'll write down expected return. Two things it is asking you in the problem. The first is it is asking you to calculate the return. Secondly, it is asking you to calculate standard deviation. So expected return already we got 9%. Standard deviation. Sigma is equal to summation PD square under root. Remember the formula for calculating expected return. Expected return ka formula ye hai or standard deviation. Standard deviation ka formula summation PD square under root. Summation, summation PD square 8. So 8 under root. So 8 ko root karenge to 2.83.
Under root 8, you will get 2.83. That's it. This is the standard deviation. So in this problem, we have calculated the return and we have calculated the standard deviation risk. Now we start the problem number three. You must take a pause of this video and copy down the complete solution. Each and every part I am explaining. Now third problem you see. Calculate the expected return and risk. Standard deviation. Risk will be measured in terms of standard deviation. For Prima Limited for 2018 given the following information. Probabilities are given, returns are given. So exactly same procedure we have to follow. Same format we have to follow. Here outcomes are not given. Returns are given and probabilities are given. And one point is returns are given in fractions. You can see the returns are given 0 0.20, 0 0.16, 0 0.12, 0 0.05, minus 0 0.0. The returns can be taken in fraction or in percentage. We'll get the same answer. Here problem is returns to fraction may diya. Or here problem is percentage may diya. So answer will come. But if we calculate it with fractions, it will be time consuming. It will be tedious. So for our effort, we will convert the fraction to the percentage. For example, 0.20 is a fraction. So we will convert the percentage to 20%. Multiply by 100. 0.20 into 100, you will get 20. 0.16 into 100, you will get 16. 0.12 into 100, 12. 0.05 into 100, 5. Minus 0 0.05 into 100 is minus 5. So, you should write one sentence. In order to simplify the calculations, we convert the returns from proportions to percentages by multiplying with 100. By multiplying with 100. So, this proportion diya, isko 100 se multiply karenge, to convert ho jayenga percentage mein. Aur percentage mein convert karne ke baad calculate karenge, to aapke calculation simple ho jayenge. Easily you can solve the problem. Right? So, hope you have copied down this second problem. Now, problem number three. Calculation of expected return and standard deviation. Return R. Probability P. Expected return ER. D is equal to R minus ER. D square P D square. The returns are 20, 16, 12. Then 5 minus 5. Probabilities are given 15.15.20. One five. So 15, 15, 30, 30 plus 71. Correct. Always we should verify the total of probability must be equal to 1. 
see the columns first column return second column probability third column expected return then deviation square the deviations pd square right now multiply we will multiply 20 into 0 0.15 20 into 0 0.15 20 to 0.15 is 3 Similarly, 16 into 0 0.2 is 3.2. 12 into 0.4 is 4.8. 5 into 0.1 is 0.5. Then 5 into 0.15 is minus 0 0.75. 3 3 3.2, 4.8. 0.5 minus 0.75. If you take the total, if you take the total of this, you will get 10.75. Expected return is 10.75. One answer we got. Ten point seven five percent is the expected return. Now we'll calculate the deviation. R minus ER. ER we got ten point seven five. Now multiply, uh, subtract. R is here. Twenty minus ten point seven five. Twenty minus ten point seven five is nine point two five. Twenty. Minus 10.75 is 9.25. Similarly, 16 minus 10.25, 5.25. 12 minus 10.75 is 1.25. 5 minus 10.25 minus 5.75. Minus 5 minus 10.75 minus 15.75. Subtract R minus E R. Ab isko square karna. 9.25 ko square karenge. 9.25 into 9.25. You will get 85.5625. Square. 9.25 into 9.25. You will get 5.25 into 5.25. 27.5. 5625. You should keep the calculator beside you. So whenever we make the calculation, immediately calculate it and check. Then 1.25 square, it comes to 1.5625. Then 5.75 square, 33.0625. point. 248.0625 So what we have calculated? Square We have calculated D square Now multiply P into D square Probability is here So 0.15 into 85.5625 Ye dono ko multiply kare to you will get 12.834 Similarly second multiply kare ge. 0.2 into 27.5625 5 point 5.125 then 0 0.625 3 point 30625 then 37 point 2094 now take the total 59.48715 or exactly same way d square kar liye phir p d square p into d square 0.15 into this amount you will get this 0.2 into 27 you will get this one 0.4 into 1.5625 you will get this one 0.1 into 33 point you will get this one. 0.15 into this amount you will get this one. total up standard deviation
and the root. The formula for standard deviation is summation PD square under root. So, ये जो amount आया इसको under root कर दो, you will get seven point seven one. That's it. Take a pause. Copy down the complete. So we have completed problem number three. The next problem, fourth problem, the next session will take.